Fact or Fib Tuesday. Well, it's time for today's Fact or Fib. We did not give Kellyanne any warning about how this segment goes, so we're just going to toss her right in. Sure. See how she does. Let's do it. We'll play the game. This is the game where we try to guess the facts from the fibs in today's health news. So, Kellyanne, we'll put you on the spot first. Okay. Fact or Fib, nationwide we're seeing more than 1,000 measles cases. Fact. I'm going to say that's gonna fact. going to go with fact. Yeah. Let's see. Ooh, okay. She's right on her first one. Unfortunately, that's a fact. Health officials confirm 33 new cases of measles last week, bringing the total to 1,077 across 27 states this year. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says this is the highest number of cases in the U.S. since 1992 and since the measles was declared to be eliminated back in the year 2000. Okay, um, I'll give this one a try. Woman under 50 who smoked faced the lowest risk of a major heart attack. Factor fit. Factor fib. I'm going to go with, sure, fact. I don't really know. That's a fib, actually. In <laughs> fact, women under 50 who smoke face the highest risk of major heart attack. That's according to a study published in the Journal of American College of Cardiology. Smoking leads to increased risk for all ages and genders, but doctors say smokers can significantly reduce their risk just a month after quitting. All right, last one for today. More women are getting 3D mammograms, but not everybody is receiving the same care. Fact or fib? Fib. Going to go with fib? You're very confident about that. Oh. Unfortunately, yeah, that's wrong. That is a fact. Researchers at Yale University are finding doctors say it's because the use of 3D technology varies by region and demographics. 3D mammograms are thought to boost cancer detection rates and reduce fa false positive results. So we did pretty good today. Well, I guess yeah. we, we got one. Well, well, you know, it was my first day. Your first, so and first we really, time. We, I did not explain the rules of the game. We really just tossed you right in, but you, yeah. did, you did good. Well, thanks. You did great. Now, I have one more health story for us. It's not a factor fib, but it is very important for us on Good Morning Lubbock and on any morning schedule. If you're looking for your perfect summer body, maybe grab an extra cup of coffee. A new study shows it could help you fight fat. Researchers at the University of Nottingham claim coffee helps stimulate brown fat results reserves, which play a role in how quickly you can burn calories. Yeah, the study shows levels of that brown fat are higher in children, but they decrease as you get older. Yeah, we hear that all the time, right? Well, coffee apparently helps boost their fat busting power. Scientists say, though, they still need to do some more research to figure out exactly what in the coffee is helping speed up weight loss. Hey, we'll take it, though. Um, I will now drink five cups of coffee. <laughs> That's probably not Any good excuse for to drink heart, more coffee? But I'll drink it now. I mean, usually one cup gets me through the day, but um, bump we'll that up a little bit. Bump it up maybe yeah. two, three. We'll take it, scientists. Yeah. Thanks so much. We'll still to come here on KMAC News. See how a captain in a North Carolina sheriff's office saves a little girl with nothing but that green pool noodle and a boogie board. We'll have this crazy story next.